हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू बी एस पी सोल्यूशन माई नेम शिवम टेमरे एंड टूडे टॉपिक इज अनऑर्डर रिसिप्ट इन ऑरिकल फ्यूजन सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट प्रोक्योरमेंट एप्लीकेशन ओके सो वैन वी प्लेस एनी ऑर्डर अगेंस्ट दैट वी रिसीव द मटेरियल एंड देन वी क्रिएट द ऑर्डर और रिसीट ओके समटाइम इट हैपन्स दैट विदाउट प्लेसिंग एनी ऑर्डर टू सप्लायर दे सेंड द मटेरियल सो एट दैट टाइम फर्स्ट वी क्रिएट द रिसीट एट दैट टाइम फर्स्ट वी क्रिएट रिसीट विदाउट परचेस ऑर्डर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी क्रिएट द परचेस ऑर्डर एंड मेज द परचेस ऑर्डर विद द रिसीप्ट सो बेसिकली दिस टाइप ऑफ सिनोरियो नॉट ऑकर्स एट ऑल द टाइप इन द इंडस्ट्री और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट बट इन सम केसेस इट विल हैपन सो फॉर दैट वी हैव एन ऑप्शन फॉर रिकॉर्ड ऑल द आइटम्स एट अनऑर्डर रिसीट इन अनऑर्डर रिसीट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू इनेबल द चेक बॉक्स अलाउ unordered receipt we have to enable unordered receipt in receiving parameter then we have to enable unordered receipt received at attributed item second option we have enable unordered receipt attribute at item level and item level we have to enable our unordered receipt next we have to create unordered receipt and after that we have to create an purchase order and against that purchase order we have to match our purchase order with unordered receipt okay so at the last we have to match our purchase order with unordered receipts okay now let's go to our instance and enable first we have to enable unordered receipt in receiving parameter okay so in receiving parameter we have an option for uh, un uh, enable the unordered receipt okay so go to our instance okay click on setting and action then click on setup and maintenance click on task list open our project search for our project search the task name is manage receiving parameter click on enter search icon select procurement based path manage receiving parameter just click on go to task icon okay so here we have an option for allow an order receipt for an order receipt first we have to enable the check box that is allow an order receipt so enable the check box okay and just click on save and close now we have to enable an order receipt at item level okay so for that just okay first click on done so for that click on navigator okay uh scroll it down click on product management under product management we have product information management just click on product information management that is pim click on task list click on manage item okay now search for our item that is tata 1001 roller bearing click on search icon now we have to enable an order receipt at item master level and at child inventory level as well click on our item that is tata 1001 okay scroll it down click on specification tab under specification just click on purchasing hyperlink okay yeah so scroll it down here in valid transaction we have an option allow unordered receipt set allowed under order receipt as yes just click on yes click on save and close now we have to perform unordered receipt at chill inventory level so select our item that is tata 1001 okay scroll it down just click on specification and in specification we have purchasing just click on purchasing in purchasing valid transaction and allow unordered receipt as set as yes okay so in this way you can set unordered receipt okay unordered receipt attribute at item level 
just click on save and close okay click on done okay now we have to create an receipt so for that just click on navigator I scroll it down under supply chain execution we have inventory management task just click on inventory management task now we are creating an unordered receipt okay so click on task list okay show task set as receipt okay here we, in unordered receipts we have an option for create unordered receipt line so just click on create unordered receipt lines okay so first we have to select our item our item okay item that is Tata 1001 okay now specify the quantity okay let's say for 28 quantities we are creating an unordered receipt unit of measure name that is each destination type that is receiving okay and receiving location that is our inventory organization location okay click on search search for our location okay click on search select our location click on ok okay just click on create receipt so in this way you can create an unordered receipt in application okay now select the supplier from which supplier you receive the material so select the supplier okay supplier shipment packing sleep okay so here mandatory attribute is supplier name so just we have to just specify the supplier name over here so our supplier that is Dell INC okay and the receipt date uh, received by that is our buyer okay so all this so select the line okay and just click on submit so in this way you can create an unordered receipt in our application our procurement application okay so just copy the number that is 52182 just click on ok now material is in stacking area we will take into our target sub inventory so for that we have to perform and put away so before put away first we have to create a purchase order so for creating a purchase order we are creating purchase order for same as that of 28 quantities and after creating the purchase order we will match our purchase order with our unordered receipt so in this way we can match our unordered receipt with our purchase order so for creating purchase order just click on navigator and uh, under navigator we have pro procurement task under procurement just click on pro purchase order purchase order click on navigator okay sorry click on task list click on create order okay A style that is purchase order procurement view that is us1 business unit and requisitioning view that is us1 business unit select our supplier that is dale inc so select our supplier default ship to location that is set l sold to legal entity that is us1 legal entity and currency usd and buyer at kc brown okay just click on create icon so in this way you can create and purchase order we already seen okay scroll it scroll it down now just click on add row now we are creating an lines for our 28 item we are creating and purchase order just click on line just click on add icon select our item that is Tata 1001 Tata 1001 roller bearing okay yeah yeah description that is roller bearing category that is miscellaneous 
item quantity so item quantity is 28 unordered receipt quantity is 28 28 so same as that of we are creating a purchase order and after creating our purchase order we will match our purchase order with the unordered receipt okay okay all set no issues just click on submit icon okay copy the purchase order number that is us164527 copy the purchase order number just click on copy and click on ok now check the status of our purchase order so for that just click on task list and click on manage order paste the paste the purchase order number okay click on search okay let's wait the status that is pending approval click on search click on search yeah the status is open so as we set our rule is as automatic level so purchase order is approved automatically okay now we have to match our purchase order with our unordered receipt so for that just uh, okay so for that click on supply chain execution first click on navigator then scroll it down under supply chain execution click on inventory management task click on task okay and uh, show task as receipt okay so here unordered received now select the match unordered received just paste the our receipt number okay uh, just click on search icon okay so select the row and click on match okay so in this way you can match your unordered receipt so paste our document number okay select the document line and document is scheduled select the document line that is one i think yeah one select the document line now select the document schedule select the document schedule that is one submit okay so here our purchase order number document number is nothing but just our purchase order number and we have to match our purchase order with our unordered receipt the mesh transaction was created just click on okay now status is turned into awaiting put away so for put away okay click on done so for put away the receipt select the task put away receipts okay here in receipt we have an option for put away receipt so select the put away receipt now paste the receipt number over here our receipt number that is 52182 just click on search icon okay and select the row and just click on put away so in this way you can put away our receipt now we have to match okay okay now we have to select okay quantity that is 28 document number is nothing our purchase order number receipt number unordered receipt number okay unit of measure that is each destination type that is inventory and we have to specify our sub inventory select our sub inventory now delivered location already selected just click on submit okay so in this way you can perform the put away line task now check the status of our purchase order 
So for check our purchase order status, just click on navigator, click on purchase order task. Click on task list, select manage order task. Okay, click on search. Here you can see the status is changed. Okay, here status is closed for receiving. Here first our status is open, open for all. Now the status for our purchase order is closed for receiving. Okay, so in this way you can match purchase order with an order receipt in procurement application. Okay, thank you for watching the video. Thank you so much.